Have you ever been at a party and you've taken a really nice picture of somebody and you show it to them and they say, oh, I like that, can you give it to me? And this is somebody who you don't know. With iPhones, there is something called AirDrop. You don't even have to get their email or their text number. You can just send it from one phone to another. Let me show you what I mean. So here is my iPhone and I'm gonna take a photo of Jim here. I just open up the camera and I take a photo. All right, what a handsome guy. Nice mustache too. <laughs> and he sees that photo and says, can you send that to me? My first question is, do you have an iPhone? If yes, then I can send it via AirDrop. First thing is, his iPhone needs to be set to receive via AirDrop. So here is his iPhone. And under settings and general and AirDrop, notice you have a choice. Receiving off, contacts only, or everyone for 10 minutes. Now, if this is somebody that you don't know, you would need to put it on everyone for 10 minutes. But I also want you to show you that you can do this in your control center. If you go to your control center and then scroll down, you will see AirDrop. Tap there and you can choose everyone for 10 minutes. So I tap on everyone for 10 minutes, okay. So now this iPhone is set to receive anything that comes through AirDrop. Now, let me show you both of them together. So this is the phone that took the picture. This is the phone that wants to receive the picture. I open the photo and I tap share, the little square with the up arrow. Then I choose the way to share and that will be AirDrop. And since this phone turned on the settings, that is that phone, it's Danny's iPhone. And I just tap it and it is now coming over to this iPhone and you'd have to accept. And there is the picture that was taken on this phone here. Now, you do have to have your Wi-Fi turned on but you do not need to be connected to the internet. This is a local Wi-Fi just between this phone and that phone. You do not need an internet connection. It does not use the internet. But I wanna show you just one other way as well. Let's say that you don't even know about the setting for receiving. So I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna to go to AirDrop and receiving off. Now, no people found over here, but there's another way. I can even open a photo from my Google Photos from years past. This is a fun one when I was a lawyer and I can, this is from Google Photos. It's not actually on this phone, but I can tap share and I can choose AirDrop. Now this phone won't show up, but what you can do is just, if you're sitting right next to each other, just touch the tops together. That is, I think that is just so cool. Just touch the tops together and that photo has been transferred to this phone. When you tap accept, it will now be in this phone's camera roll and recent, recently added, there is the photo from this phone in my Google Photos to this Apple phone in its camera roll. AirDrop, pretty cool. You can actually use it for things other than photos, but photos is the primary use. I'm Chris Gould with Geeks On Tour, teaching travelers to make better use of their technology since 2004.